Hello YouTube, what's up? I again came back to with another exciting new videos. So in the last video, I discussed about NEP 2020 and I was discussing about how NAC, that, that how National Assessment Accreditation Council of India, that is NAC, give grades to the universities, to an universities or an autonomous college. So today we will uh, dive into the detailed criteria that are involved in and how NAC give grades based on what. So let's get started. So as I told, I was recently passing through some of my coursework that relates to this NAC accreditation and how based on what they give grades. So there are seven stages at NAC. First is HEI registration, that is Higher Education Institute registration. They need to be registered on the NAC portal. Then IIQA submission, SSR submission, then SSR quantity matrix assessment for pre-qualification. Then PTV management process that is peer team visit and that is SSR QIM assessment by the peer team that is uh, that quantitative matrix and the last that is grade declaration. And now NAC give grades based on seven important criteria where there are sub criteria too. So today in this video I'm just going to uh, give you a very short knowledge regarding those seven criteria. So the criteria number one is curricular aspects, then teaching learning evaluation, then research innovation and extension then infrastructure and learning resources, then student support and uh, progression, then governance, leadership and management, and the last is institutional values and best practices. Now if you go into details of this uh, subdivision or if you say sub criteria of this uh, main criteria, uh, you will find out that on the first criteria that was curricular aspects, underneath uh, there are some supports that is curriculum design and development, curriculum planning and implementation, academic flexibility, curriculum enrichment and feedback system. So definitely when we design curriculum, we need to see the design and how the curriculum is developing. And then we need to see how we can plan those curriculum on that uh, duration that maybe is the semester course, maybe it's a two sem semester course or maybe four semester that is two years master degree or something else. And uh, then we uh, we have curriculum enrichment as well. That is the curriculum should be flexible. It should not be rigid. We need to enrich our curriculum such a manner that our graduates will be employable graduates. They are not only certified graduates. There should be knowledge and skill mix. That is, they they should have in-depth knowledge on their uh, like their specialized subjects, and they should have lots of skills uh, that the industry needs. We have curriculum where maybe the curriculum has lots of theoretical aspects, but uh, maybe when we go for our jobs, when we uh, enter to the industry, the industry doesn't accept us because we don't have skills that how the industries are evolving. So that's why when uh, we need to design curriculum, we need to uh, uh, call up our alumni where, where uh, we will find our alumni are uh, working somewhere. So we need to meet up with the alumni, we need to host meetings uh, and uh, we need to uh, discuss with them that how the industries are evolving, how, how with uh, which programming language, uh, with uh, which tools that that industry needs that how the industry uh, use and uh, uh, what are the applications of our curriculum so we need to focus on those aspects so i'll be coming up uh, with my next video discussing about the other aspects and with their subparts and like uh, how it relates and uh, why uh, i uh, begin this uh, series of videos that i thought uh, when we study something when we uh, find out uh, something knowledgeable when we try to learn something then we need to uh, focus on a very basic thing that whether it has some applications when we uh, choose some stream we need to find out where we can apply this knowledge that means uh, the skills that you are learning from that curriculum uh, whether it is uh, really accepted by the industries whether the society needs that and how we can uh, enrich it how we can uh, like uh, change it in such a manner that we can uh, like uh, fit ourselves in the changing world. Then in NEP 2020, uh, as it is mentioned that in a point where they have told the faculties of uh, an HEI, that is higher education institutes, must involve themselves, must engage themselves at least of 50 hours of continuous development uh, on some skills wherever they need it. And obviously uh, not only the faculties, uh, also the principals also need to engage themselves at least of the at least of 50 hours uh, professional development program they need to engage on. Okay, and uh, I think it's a very uh, good initiative. Yeah, I, I think it is very useful and it it, um, uh, it can create a great impact on our faculties because uh, you know what, uh, because of this AI and uh, like um, comp uh, development of the computer science, uh, there are like lots of changes uh, that we can uh, witness uh, in the uh, past few years and we are about to witness in the upcoming next years uh, that I guess all of you can really feel uh, the things are evolving so fast that uh, the trainers, the faculties who are tra training us, who are, who are training our future generation, they also need to be equipped with the uh, upcoming knowledges and how the science is evolving. I'm a teacher of mathematics in an ICSC ISC school, so I uh, always uh, try to uh, like uh, engage myself in uh, the 
in with the studies and uh, with the new learning methods that I can learn and I can uh, share with my uh, student fellows and uh, so I I thought to share uh, this all with you and uh, if I get any more informations I'll be always uh, sharing with on my YouTube channel Less Math Magic so thanks for your support and I'm expert is on this matter and I love to learn all these things and my courses are all uh, related to all this and uh, if you are new in this channel please subscribe us and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified for this kind of amazing new videos on mathematics and science thanks for watching jai hind vande mataram and keep in touch with let's math magic